Good morning, anglers. This is Anglers 48 coming to you from far Texas. Thank you for joining us on this episode. What's in store? We're going to be making a, a fishing leader. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and stay tuned, guys. Buckle up. If this is new to you, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to work. All right, guys. So we're going to be completing. We're going to be doing a fishing leader. This is a, a leader that I use quite a bit, guys. And uh, for the most part, I use it for when I do some night fishing, right? Mostly when I do some night fishing. I do carry them with me. They are very, very uh, as they important as far as me being able to secure a nice fish. So what are some of the things that we need when we're making this leader? You're gonna need a swivel right here. That's a very good swivel, okay? Inspect the swivel, make sure that it's uh, worthy of uh, landing some very nice fish. You would hate for it to give out, right? And then you're gonna be out on the fish there. Uh, a good hook, you don't wanna look for a hook that doesn't have a, a good barb. Uh, that may be uh, co maybe compromised in a way where when you land that fish it breaks off because I have personally myself I have been broken off and uh, those are good stories to tell right but you're without a fish so get yourself a good hook and a weight depending on the size of your uh, rod that's what you want to go with so I usually go with a one ounce or a two ounce pyramid weight also what you want to do is you want to be able to to look into getting uh, a spool similar to the one that i have this is a 50 pound test line as the line and uh it's premium fishing line not the best line in the world but for for the purpose of making leaders it's it's perfect i have spent so much money on leaders that it's crazy and i'm sure you all have uh, spent money as well because you get hung up, it gets caught on the rocks, you lose it when you're fishing. So it, they're costly and uh, you spend about 10 bucks, maybe a little bit less than 10 on something like this and you can make your own leaders. You're, you're only spending money on weights, hooks and uh, yeah, and swivels. So this leader more or less is about 15 uh, inches long, give or take. Uh, but yeah, how do we start? All right, so you're gonna start with uh, this end right here and uh, you're going to make a fisherman's knot or whichever knot favors you. And you're going to insert it into this part right here. The other end obviously will be to your fishing line. So, I like to make my fisherman knot and I'll, I'm going to give about maybe five or six turns and then it's going to go back into the original loop and then into this loop okay and then you're going to cinch it be careful because as good as these leaders are for catching fish when you're cinching and your fingers, your hand starts to pull, you're gonna pull in a way where it's not designed to go and it, it, this swivel is just gonna tear apart. So just be mindful on that. Some of these swivels, once again, if you work them the wrong way, okay, they're no good anymore. So you're gonna cut off don't cut off the whole thing right just enough so if there's a a little bit of give you're still in good shape okay so once again this is going to be a single as the a single hook leader so what you're going to do is you're going to give give a couple of inches right there and you're going to make a loop right here and you're going to make a knot you don't want to make you don't want to make it where the loop is humongous right 
So you make a knot right there, and then you're going to make a knot with the end that goes to the spool. This is going to make sure that it doesn't, look at that. You're gonna pull and you're gonna make sure that it doesn't ride up, okay? Now it's completely singed right there. And now you're going to cut this portion right here. Don't cut it too short or too long. You just kind of have to gauge it like so. Once again, it's about 15 inches in length. And you're gonna do the same knot or the knot, the, uh, knot of your preference. So I am going to loop a couple of times, right? And insert it in the first loop. You can use your teeth if you need to. And you cinch it, right? Right there. That is a very good leader right there. It's very strong. It'll last you a good, a good amount of time. Let's say you, you go about five or six times fishing. Hey, do it again. Put a new line. You don't need to, but you can do it. You can do it. Now, your hook has to have a good enough eyelid right there so that you can slide this part in there. If you, get, if you have a beady beady hook, it won't work. So get yourself one that has, you know, a good opening right there. So you're going to cinch with your fingers this end. And you're going to put it in through that hole and go around the whole, the whole hook completely. And then pull. Just be careful that you don't... Get yourself hooked right there. So that's how you make a leader. This is the leader that I use. Very few fish will get away with something like this. Now, keep in mind, guys, I do quite a bit of day fishing, right? Morning fishing. But there have been times when I do some night fishing and 50 pound test guys 50 pound test line has been broken off not my 12 pounds from my fishing rod the 50 and it's not because it's poor line no 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 it's not because of that it's just the nature of what you're catching some of these fish are gigantic one case in particular one case in particular, it was, I had two of these hooks, two of them. It was a double hook. In, in uh, what I'm believing that happened is two fish, two big fish bit the two hooks at the same time. And both of them fled, right? Both of them bit and ran. And the one that bit this hook got free. And I was able to reel that big fish with the top hook. You understand? So I don't have any cut line here. All this is one single line, right? So when, when, when you have a leader, right? Let's say from the store that is in the water constantly and then you're using it and you're catching these big fish, they're gonna break off that leader because it gets brittle. It's not made like it used to before, you know, in the best ways. But uh, this, is, this is how I make my leaders, guys. It saves me some money. Excuse me, it saves me some money. So if, uh, if you're interested in something like this, you know, get yourself a spool. If maybe you have a spool of 20 pounds. Maybe you have a spool of 40 or what have you. 
you, you can go with something like that but uh it'll it'll save you uh money on having to buy liters all the time and uh that's pretty much it guys as far as making this this liter um that's um you know you're gonna be hooking on to more fish and also if you don't have a net you can always grab the leader right here and pull that fish up sometimes we don't have the the confidence in in, in grabbing the leader that we have out there because it may cut you because it's made out of some type of uh metal or yeah but uh that's pretty much it guys uh if you have any comments if uh you know type them down guys any experiences that uh, you may have had out on the water put them in there i would like to hear about them um if this is catching you as new please uh, help anglers out hit the hit the subscribe button uh share the video i do uh post a lot of uh as the inshore weight kayak and boating action and just getting my my bass tracker ready for the water so i'll leave you with that once again, greatly appreciate uh, your support. Until next time, from far Texas, be safe. Thank you.